Okay, here we go. Hello, everyone. Um, just as we get started, I want to let you know I seem to have a case of the hiccups, so uh, you may hear some odd hiccuping noises. Uh, also, for those who haven't done so, I do have a poll up on the community tab of my channel with poll options for um, future series and live streams. I figured I'd go with this one since people liked it from last week. And... Um, see what you guys end up with. So far only 16 people have voted in that poll, so please go do vote. So, let's jump into this. So, we have France, the Commune of France. So basically, we are Communist France. Um, normal French Republic has been kicked to North Africa. We are allied with the Communists in Great Britain, and we do not control Alsace Lorraine here on the border with Germany. Uh, Luxembourg is also owned by Germany as well. So, We've got to try and survive the mighty German Empire, which I do not think is going to go well, but uh, I'll give it a shot. I've already set up some stuff, uh, including some factories and some research, so we will see how this goes. I totally expect to die here. The Third Republic ended the way it began, defeated by Germans, yes. Basically, they've taken control. Communists overthrew the... Uh, French government after the defeat in World War One, which of course is the premise, premise of all of this that Germans won World War One. Uh, the Russian guy got assassinated. What a shock! Let's see how this goes. Uh, t -t 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 yes. Okay. Uh, the head, head of government is collapsing. Okay. Not, not so great. Okay, so now we have to come up with our plans <coughs> for our military. So we want a Jacobin policy for the army, because that gives us more planning and max planning. Which is always a good one. So we'll go centralized high command. We gotta make several of these decisions. The next one we wanna make is a Sorelian economic policy. I think that's how you say it. Hmm. What is this? Internal and external security matters. How does this affect us? Um. I think we want Cerulean for that. Not entirely sure. I'm kind of guessing on some of these. Go France. We'll see. Internal security. Um, what do we want here? A lot of penalties up and down. Um, we'll go with a Cerulean one. I think we want to put the Cerulean's in charge. Um, but we'll say economic affairs. We definitely want Cerulean. Hopefully, I've done this right and haven't screwed up horribly. We need another spy before we can start spying on Germany. Afghanistan and Great Britain are at war again. Foreign affairs. Construction speed. Uh, the only one that's good is that this Aurelian here. We'll take them. Aurelian's one. Okay. So let's see if I did this correctly. I did. I got the Jacobin military policy and I got the Aurelian economy. Good. I wanted those two because the Cerulean gives us um, mass production and modern farms, which will solve some of any equipment problems. And the Jacobin military gives us more planning, and since we're going uh, Grand Battle Plan, it will help us the most, I think. Yeah, we're not touching Jacobins. They don't really have anything great for them. 
going to do the standard get an additional research slot and then we're going to start reforming our economy. Uh, got retired. <laughs> China's collapsing, what a shock. Might as well go take a look at the mess that is China. And it does collapse quite quickly, doesn't it? Oh, there's another revolt. Quite interesting to watch the collapse of China. Uh, we had a change in government in uh, Great Britain, or the Union of Britain. The what you might call it took over. Right for you, Federationist. I have no idea <laughs> how that stacks up against ours. Uh, yeah, we'll support the communists in China. Why not? Got a big uh, conference coming on here. Everybody who's not communists, or in this case syndicalists, hates us. The Pope. Okay. Take out invitation. Um, we're going to put a French city. Uh, we'll do oh, probably Paris. Why not? Might as well get more infrastructure in our capital, right? Hardly ever go wrong with more infrastructure. Ability. Good. Oh, wow. Huge boost for stability. Huge stability boost. We'll take that. Um. One. I think we want to do this before we go anywhere else. That is pretty good too. Wow, we've got a lot of things we could do, don't we? Um, this is the only thing that's going to get me military factors early on, so let's do that. I don't know what to do now, but I've got excess uh, research slots. Hey, okay, we're supporting Spain intelligence. Good. Great. Lakes, that's the beginning of the syndicates in the US. Um, we are going to support the women in the worldwide revolution. Launch your stuff in Latin America. Help in Italy. Help in Algeria. Boy, we're helping everybody. I suppose we are probably the strongest nation. Uh, we're going to go help in India. Cambridge. This is the beginning of the uh, nuclear research event. Will I build the Maginot Line? Yes, I definitely will. This is too hard of a border to defend otherwise. There's almost no way for me to take on Germany head on. I don't even think you can do it with pure tanks. They're just too strong. Um, I've got 65 factories. Germany on its own has 184. To be fair, right now, uh, they're getting crushed in... Uh, by Black Friday, but that still doesn't make it any easier because I can't attack them for another year or more. Three years. Keep supporting the Chinese communists. Ideally, they'll win, but I don't think they will. These guys are really weak in the scheme of things. They have virtually no factories. None of these nations have factories. 
If anything, that would be my biggest complaint with this mod pack, is just the sheer lack of factories. Someone's spying on The just number of factories is lower than the base game. Which I suppose makes it easier to not have to manage massive armies. More troops on the fields. The funny part is I don't actually need this army here because this is my Italian ally, so I should probably actually just push you a bit up north. The key thing is Spain is probably going to be on the German side, so I do have to have an army for that. I can start World War II early if I want. How do I pull that one off? I can't. Oh, I suppose I could fabricate claims and attack, right? Is that what you mean? Um, what do I do? Get some going first. We're going to build up our spy agency for defense, because right now we have a penalty towards spying. I've got to get rid of that at some point. There are some events. Oh, okay. We just got to be careful I don't provoke the Germans until I'm ready for them, because right now I couldn't stop them. An Indo-Chinese tragedy. Yes, we will send them back. We're gonna send. We're gonna arm the what appears to be a precursor to the Viet uh, Cong or whatever. Hi. Not. I definitely need to get another army going down south. Not only do I have to guard against potential Spanish invasion, the French and the English in the Dominion of Canada will be coming at some point. Honestly, I hope they come for me before Germany does in some ways. These guys are doing okay. Um, I could send them in a Tache if I had the uh, enough political power. Uh, I don't, so it makes very little difference. Okay, well, I'll keep an eye out for it. I don't think we want to start the war just yet, because we wouldn't win, but it's good to know I can start it early. We also want to get some field hospitals, because we are, in terms of population, we are way behind Germany. That steel day, that's nice. I've also got to reform my um, military and economy pretty quickly. Right now, what I'm going to do here is I want to get to here. Construction speed, stack the two construction speeds. Then I think I'm going to jump over here and do uh, road to war and calibrating the economy to reduce the number of factories, which should help. Although I may take a brief sidetrack to the Department of Revolutionary Ideas to get some more political power. Tanks, even though we don't seem to have many of them being made. I definitely want a lot of tanks. We're going to keep supporting the Chinese as long as we can, because if they win, which probably due to our aid, they are starting to do well. No. Oh. Garrisons, of course. Production speed. Basically, the sooner we can get the just uh, construction speed and the reduced consumer goods, the bigger the benefit of us building will be. And right now, I'm focusing on civilian factories. Obviously, because you want to get more production going earlier. You know, the Chinese Communists might win here. That would be amazing.
Oh wow, they've got a huge bonus here. 200% attack bonus? Wow, that's crazy. No wonder they're doing well. Oh, we started a uh, revolt in uh, Vietnam here. Apparently it's split. We've got Vietnam and German East Asia, and then we've got the communists. Hopefully the communists win for us, for our sake. Let's reform our economy. One thing I do like about Hearts of Iron is that your early game moves have huge impacts as the game goes on. No, progress is made. We're silent until network so you don't get caught. Increase our construction. Training troops. How many troops do the Germans have? They've got. Half a million, probably, and we have significantly less. Let's ignore that for now. We go. Probably start working on planes. Get better planes. Attention. Curious is what's going to happen in Spain, though. Oh, they're going for war here. They didn't try and uh, negotiate. Okay, so there's going to be a war in Spain. That's, I guess, good. Norway likes us. Oh, I probably don't leave my faction. The French have restored their monarchy. Oh, no. Jean the Third. Jean de Orleans. De Gaulle put him in charge. Okay. Interesting. Guess that's okay. The legation cities have collapsed. Which always seems to happen. So. Oh, the socialist guy got elected president so. of the US. So, big US civil war coming up. can't do anything really. Let's see what else we can do. Um, we get increased stuff. Won't help us without problems there though. I do electricity. I think I'll take a detour into hydroelectricity. I don't know what it does, but I think it gives me more factories at some point. Or at worst it gives me infrastructure. Little obviously, I don't know all the ins and outs of the mods. So. Which is half the fun. Like, I really enjoy a mod that's almost as advanced as the base game. Oh, we'll eating the Chinese. We've got excess uh, uh, infantry equipment, so. To be fair, I should probably be training some. in Brazil for the Republican. Okay, let's see. We want air support. We basically want ass that we can fight Germany on a semi-even footing. Let's do... Oh, that is six civilian factories, though. Let's do that, then we'll work on it. I know I keep saying I'm going to go somewhere else, but I'm not. There we go. Two civilian factories for one dam. That's worth it. Oh. We've got a new arrest. The Ottomans are under the control of a marshal now. I don't know if that makes any difference to the Ottomans. They're still going to collapse. Or maybe not. Looks like they're actually uh, reforming things. Interesting. 
Huh, so they can find a way to join the Germans, basically. Very interesting. I didn't know they could uh, do that. That would make the Ottomans a lot more viable if they survived. I think the communists are gonna win here, which is great. Although, to be fair, I'm basically basically funding their entire army at this point. I suppose I could send volunteers, can I? Partial mobilization done. This is 25. We can get that down to about 50. Give or take. Unrest in Geneva, it looks like. Okay, now we want to do road to... Took us a little while to get here, but... Six consumer goods... Uh, six civilian factories is worth a research, I think. Uh, workers front of Patagonia. We're going to send manpower and gun. Basically, our whole goal here is to help the uh, comment, the syndicists win everywhere. If we can do that, then we'll have more allies versus Germany later on. But more importantly, they won't be on the German side. Norway wants to join, yes. Attention. Not a country I would have thought would have been syndicist, but... Uh, welcome to the party, Norway. The Norwegian Union. But interesting, these guys are Union of Britain, Union of Nor Norwegian Union, and we're the Commune of France. But we couldn't be Union of France. A little odd. Boost this a bit. I want to get above 50 spy network, possibly. Basically, I want to have entirely spied everything about Germany out before the war starts. Still trade army. The more we know about Germany, the better off we will be on defense. Or offense. War in Mongolia. That's not what I expected. Okay, here we go. We've got violence in uh, occupied Switzerland. Oh, we're going to basically demand that land. Oh, we can't yet. Not yet. Um. Yes, military buildup. Don't want to research anything too far ahead of time. I guess naval stuff now. I don't ever do much with the navy because it's not going to help us in a land war against Germany right now. But I probably should. I think, yeah, I'm pretty sure the communists are going to win here. Okay, Civil War in America. It's a, we're going to support the, com the syndicists in the them. U.S. Civil War. Hopefully. Keep Jack Reed and Bauer if we can. Bulgaria is about to get themselves annihilated. Form our military. So that should give us about a million men under arms by the time we're done.
Hopefully with a million men under arms we can slow down Germany. Long enough for Great Britain to help our Britain to help us. Oops. We have Russian Zardom. Huh. Dmitri the third took over. Interesting. War in South America between the Syndicists in Chile and Patagonia versus Argentina. Hawaii wishes to join us. Sure. The commune of Hawaii. Mighty Hawaii has joined us. Oh, they're totally going to uh, view the war in our favor, Hawaii, aren't they? Uh, we support America. Down to 20, we're going to get down to 15 consumer goods, which hopefully should increase our build-up massively. Obviously, I'm not going to get all these factories built before the war, but I want to have them all queued up. We've got nine more ones done. Oops. Probably double yeah, my army now that I'm thinking about it. Attention! Kill these guys. I just need to get some army. Dutch have had an election. They do like their elections, the Dutchians. Oh, what happened here? Hmm. Interesting. The Guan Xi click in now uh, power. And the communists did win in China. The left. Kuomintang. I have no idea how you say it, so that's my best guess. Écoutez. To help them. Um, what do we want to do now? Let's do French revanchism. That way we have our. No, actually, let's not do that one yet. Let's do. Got so many could do. Let's work on our army, I guess, a little bit. See, I want to build these forts, but I don't want to build the forts until I've already started building the forts manually. At least I don't. Yeah, okay. So we want to build these forts manually. So basically, I want to do that on every single province on the border. Do it. 
Gardez vos rangs. Slowly, our production is getting better. I think I'm gonna have to invest in um, synthetic oil, looking at it, because I don't think I'm gonna have any oil supply for my tanks. Obviously, big war going down in our Argentina that I can't support yet. Oh, okay. Supporting these guys, I don't know how much that will do. Relief supplies gives them population. That's not very useful, is it? Um, let's actually send some volunteers to this one, I think. We can send two. I don't usually send volunteers places. It usually doesn't help. But in this case, we can get an ally on our southern border. That would help a lot. Oh, thank you, Anya. Thank you for the donation. Possible start the war within a year. Obviously, we've not done that. I don't think it would be in our favor starting to this early. These guys have arrived. Promote this guy to a field marshal. That way we can actually have somebody decent on the battlefield. So hopefully we'll get us some military power, or, um, army experience. Oh boy, these Chinese communists or syndicists really want a lot of my supplies, don't they? I must have given them like 4,000 at this point. The red Spanish volunteers. I need to get back to building more forts because this have been built. Swiss accepted the Switzerland's cave. The Swiss caved and gave us back some land, I guess. Equity. Right there. <laughs> Three for the working class, I guess. Didn't really get us much. Although it looks like they're going uh, syndicists, Swiss. Uh, the difference, there's not a huge difference between the syndicists and the communists. It's basically just, it's basically the same thing, except the syndicists try to take into account um, there's like four different ones. There's social democrats, radical socialists, syndicalists, and totalists. And they all have different agendas. Um, and points of view. But I guess you could lump them all in as communists, but it's not. The term communist really isn't accurate either. Because there's multiple ideologies that are said to be communists. Same thing with democratic. It's, the name at this point has been so diluted to be inaccurate. Not to get into politics, but 
Syndicist and communist, basically the same thing, except in this world, communism um, lost in World War One, basically. I think that kind of explains it. I'm also going to build some defenses back from the line in case my lines get breached. I don't immediately get overrun like historically happened to France. Uh, max out my passive defense as soon as I can. This guy... Calvary answer. I don't really care. This guy on the other hand, let's do last one. And offensive. We need to have at least one offensive field marshal. Oh. The communists have now changed into the National Revolutionary Government. Led by a woman. Third and final wife of uh, Sun Yat-sen. Okay, wow. There's going to be a strong communist government in China, which our syndicist. That'll help. How's everything else going? These guys are struggling. These guys are... I suppose I should send more volunteers, shouldn't I? I hate sending right. volunteers. Let's help here. I think this would be a good spot to help. Oh, I can only send them two up here. I can't send two. Ooh, normally these guys are the powerhouse, but they seem to be struggling to hold on to their lands. Oh, Bulgaria. Bulgaria collapsed with shock. Forming our divisions a bit. Specifically adding the field hospital and support artillery. What's gonna... My armies here can almost contribute nothing to this war in such a large front. Massive front. More fort building time, I'd say. Got a long way to go when it comes to building forts. Oh, we already have some forts here. Good to know. Negotiate with the Swiss, obviously. Uh, we're going to demand no concessions with the front of uh, the Swiss. We just want the Swiss to be friends at this point. Um. Yes, we should probably found our factions right. research. Tough. What? I don't think I want to reform my conscription. Ah, we want defense though. Max entrenchment plus 10. Bye. We're gonna have like 66 port de uh, de Resistance to uh, what you want to call it, entrenchment. That's going to be really good for defense. Not so good for offense, but now we lost 
5% consumer goods, so that's not so great, but nothing you can do about that. We need to start decrypting the German wafers. What's going on up here? The king is in the south, and the interim government in the Looks like syndicists are slowly starting to win in the Netherlands. I should probably just send these guys supplies. I don't know why I'm doing that. Um, send 5%. all that matters, although we should support these guys. Most of these guys don't have any factories, so even 5% helps a lot. Chinese communists are becoming really large down there. Attention. Moscow Accord? Oh. Russia is trying to recreate a faction. That's interesting. Also, Austria is at war with Hungary and lost Vienna. Oops. Attention! Even is my father's. to reform my uh, divisions even more. The syndicates in China are doing pretty good. Yeah, I'm not sure what you're trying to say, Anya. <laughs> um, let's get rid of our... Actually, you know what? Let's do war experience so I can reform my divisions more. But... Okay, so now we can do development stuff. Let's develop Union of Britain. We've got a lot we can work on. We just need political power. Trees are speaking American in the CSA? Not sure what you mean. Yeah, if you watch streams in English, your skills will grow if you're from Poland. Nice to meet you, by the way. Part Polish, by the way. Um, on my father's side. Always nice to see people from there. Yeah, the more you listen, the more you'll learn. Um, some... Some English is easier to learn than others. Like, this is a lot of war English rather than, you know, common usage English.
Gardez vos rangs. Finally, I got a tank division. How are the Germans doing? They have not massively increased their military. That's good. Oh, the trees are speaking Vietnamese. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, so you're making a reference to the uh, Vietnam War. Makes sense. Okay, um, let's see what else do we have. This is later on, I can do that. I suppose I should probably do the land doctrine. Oh, what am I doing? I don't know why I'm not sending these guys Lindley at all. That's stupid. 15%. They're right on my border. I should be sending them as much supplies as I can. Communists or the syndicists in China are doing a really good job. Look at them go. Quite impressive. Um, let's develop. Oh, Norway. Yeah, that also gets more oil in our alliance. some of that if I can. Um, Norway doesn't have it yet. This isn't good. Resolve. Attention. At least I'm delivering these guys supplies at a good rate, even though they are not surviving. Um, can we up our support companies? No tanks, no artillery, no. Radar, we can do radar, that would be useful. World War II be a war of attrition? Um, probably. Oh. It's usually the way these wars boil down to in the end. Pure attrition. We just want to get the most fighters and close air support. And on the field. I haven't gotten to yet. So, let's strengthen our border. Once we build the next level upgrade from the focus, that should give us level six forts on the border, which should be enough to stop any invasion. I don't know if the American communists are going to make it here. They do not seem to be doing very well. Usually they are a monster of production, but they're finally getting to that point. The only good thing is that the American Union state and the American United States here are fighting each other, which is giving the communist syndicates a chance to recover. But here comes the Pacific, so we shall see. If they lose Chicago, it's all over for these guys. Chicago or Cleveland, really. Or if Canada gets involved, which it doesn't appear they're going to do. We did some intelligence. We have infiltrated the Air Force. Great Navy, I guess. Oh, wait. There. 
You're up to 700,000 troops almost. These guys are not winning either. Boy, everyone on my board, all the syndicates are losing. Not a good thing. What's going on in China? Uh, it looks like they're slowly winning. Let's reform our divisions. So we are going to do more artillery and plenty of infantry. We get to six uh, forty watts. That should be about as good as we can get. It's gonna horribly weaken us in the short term, but in the long run, should get a lot more powerful. And I am going to buy some stuff for my. And develop Italy. You're developing everybody's lands. Of course, we are the leading researcher for our faction. We have the most research slots, probably. Paris. Who's the leader of the Baharata commune, or however you say it? Um, let's see, who's the leader of that? That would be Subhas Chandra Boss. Or how are you, Bose? He is now at war with the Dominion of Ind India. That is not necessarily a good thing on their part. Grand Army Reform, there we go. That should make, that should give us pretty good combat strength. Compared to Germany right now, we should do okay. The Ottomans are actually less unstable than I thought they'd be. They're doing a pretty good job. Oh, we may have an intact Ottomans here. We are totally out of manpower, though. Some pretty good spying going on these guys. Still heavily outnumber us in factories, though. Um, suppose I should just do this, just to fortify the rest of this border. Even though the odds of us fighting Switzerland are slim. of conscription. No. Uh-oh. Uh, these guys are attacking, so let's send them some supplies. Italy is going after the two Sicilies. For some reason, Rome is not involved right now. Oh, now they are. What else do we uh, let's do revanchism so we get enough people, enough manpower back. Oh, interesting. It just goes to show that these people took very different courses in their lives right. with the change in World War II, which makes a lot of sense. Help Norway a bit. Looks like the socialists are going to win here. Got 
Got a million men in the field. Awesome. Uh, we're going to develop eyes a bit. Give them some aid, even though they're getting crushed on, without, on their own. Their own dumb mistake that's getting them killed. War in Spain rages on. At least we're getting army experience out of it. Uh, let's work on our tank. 20 width, but low organization. Probably don't need an engineer's... Uh, actually, I'll just leave them as is. Um, wow. Our mountaineers are strong. Um, artillery, and then we'll just move our way down to 20 with these guys. Some more. My priority. Our big advantage on... Germany is probably going to be out producing them right now. Ports on that border are almost complete. And let's actually have some fun here. Let's make level four forts before we up our line. Surely level 7 forts can stop an invasion. Oh, you don't need it. About half a month for me to build a level 4 fort. Let's help the commune in India, but... Air wing, but always better than aces. People are spying on us, of course. Result. My divisions are so far behind in uh, supplies around the world right now, they're almost useless. Okay, Chile is going to lose the war against Argentina, I'd say. The Chinese communists are starting to win, although they're about to apparently invade the Qing government, which seems stupid on my... That seems really stupid while they're at war with another faction. This guy's building up his army, though. Hmm, gonna be interesting. Oh, okay. The big Chinese war is kicked off. The Qing versus the Feng Tian government. Hi. I mean, it's just an endless stalemate here. It looks like they've all done all their focuses until the end of the war. Uh, we don't. There's no point in developing Chile or Uruguay if you're gonna die. So let's do Mexico. Mexico likes us. Equity. No. Got full three armies in France. An Iron Curtain has risen across France. Uh, yeah, I guess that would be vaguely accurate at this point. In this case, it's more like a defensive wall than an Iron Curtain. It's funny, we're not really planning an offense against Germany. We're just preparing for the inevitable, inevitable German attack.
Level 7 for it should work. Obviously, we gotta get there, but... Uh, moving in the right direction. We're basically just funding the entire war in China. Uh, works, but feels weird. Um, more political power. Initiate anti-colonial action in the Kingdom of France. Sure, wave of sabotage. Good unrest throughout Africa. Why not? Dude, we gotta obviously... These guys have gone fascist, basically. We gotta keep an eye on them. They don't have nearly the production capacities we do. So they can't attack us unless we get really weak. Which is an issue. We start losing. Guys. These guys should be collapsing. They're not. I love how it's French assistance and French assist assistance here. So these two bonuses basically cancel each other out. I don't know how to instigate revolts. Um, I've never figured it out in this game. I've tried a long time. No one has ever managed to explain to me how, in fact, start revolts. You can do that, I'd be more than thrilled to know how you start revolts, Hearts of Iron. Uh, we develop Central America, I guess. Come on, Chile. Really, you can win this. Ah, you seem to be getting absolutely crushed. I'm still supplying them, which is the only reason they're still in power. Working women. No. Oh, I've got to select a target here. Um, I okay. Um, can't choose that state as a target. The only one I can choose is Luxembourg. International avant-garde has more political power, basically. A new army. Hopefully somebody who's not an old guard. <laughs> old guard penalty in this game is severe. We've almost gotten all our forts built on the French, German, Belgian border. Now it's just a matter of basically building factories. Hoping to catch up to Germany. They've got 118 civilian, we have 68. Yeah, we're not going to catch them that easily. We do have 37 military. How many do they have? 50. Yeah, we're not going to be able to outproduce them on our own unless we get really lucky somehow. Ooh, Chicago fell. That's not good. Chicago didn't fall. Gary, Indiana did, but... Thank goodness they've got passage up here still. Otherwise, they'd have lost this whole army. Bye. Women is done. Time to fortify the German border. Plus two land forts everywhere. <laughs> Well, we did not create the Maginot Line, but we're going to do other stuff. Okay, well, I can attempt to promote stuff. Okay, the Ottomans are plunging into what appears to be their war. 
Yeah, they're unstable. They're I still going to collapse, but they've done better than usual. These guys are holding out down here. Give full credit credit to this Chinese guy. Doing a pretty good army with penalties. Like actually holding. Actually, let's look up how that war is going. It's going to be. Oh boy, lots of wars. Um. Western expedition. Yeah, they're they're doing a pretty good job. But tied in terms of force, but. Somehow the Qing are holding out here. Oh, there goes the Ottomans. Syndicists in Iran are attacking them. Syria is revolting. Everybody's revolting. Ottomans are probably going to die here. That's good. Looks like the syndicates in Italy were winning and now have just gotten blindsided by an invasion. Volunteers, it's in two volunteers. Might as well help these guys. Don't let them get wiped out. This was very close to being the end of that war. Oh, might be. German border fortified, and then we will extend the line. Can't. Not all level six everywhere, but it's in good shape. Churchill's written his book, Our Finest Hour. Central America is doing well. Mexico is doing pretty well. Crushed. Chile is still holding. Gardez vos rangs. I don't think there is. I don't think he's in this game. On you. Yeah, I'm working on the Maginot line Attention. extension. Although it's not called the Maginot. Marshal, though. Promote somebody. Uh, you'll do nicely. Promoted. You're entirely incompetent for what I need you for, but. Attention. have gone horribly wrong in Italy for my little puppet state here. Although I don't know why they're just not capturing me. Ottomans are doomed. Yeah, they're gone. Volunteers in Spain aren't getting anywhere either. You've got 10 factories. They've got a, they're out of manpower. That's the problem. One thing I cannot do, the, do is send manpower, sadly. Guess all. I don't really want to improve Chile if they're just going to die. They're holding for now. Oh, the Ottomans actually stopped Syria. That's unexpected. And they're beating Iran. What the heck is going on here? These guys haven't joined in. Are the Ottomans going to survive? 
That would be a miracle. It's all about building military factories, basically, from now until the war. I don't think... Actually, you know what? I will do a couple things first. We're going to build a radar station or two. Then it's all about building the factories. Yeah, probably. People's line would make sense. We could do a coordinated strike. Um... Let's strengthen the resistance. Risky, but... Oh, it's very risky, considering there's no resistance in this at all. Um, can I cancel that? Refund all of it, yeah. Not worth it. Um... I don't know what other ones to run there. Maybe you're right, I gotta do propaganda. Or boost ideology. No suitable ideologies to boost, so I guess you can't do that here. Propaganda? No, that won't work. I think we're just, we can't do anything more there, honestly. I think we're stuck. Doesn't appear we can do revolts. If I win, Edward abdicated. Okay, so that's George. Oh, George should be in charge now. Or Albert is, actually. Interesting. We took the name Albert in this year. Chicago is totally dead. Yeah. Syndicates have lost. CSA. C C S A have lost. The Union States losing. Looks like MacArthur's gonna actually win this. And here we go. Japan is coming for China. So are they is the Chinese gonna join together or are they all going to keep fighting each other? That is the question. We're gonna see United China. Nothing I can do here. I need more spies. I don't have enough. We almost got radar. All of Chicago. Yep, it's gonna be over then. I should probably withdraw my units before they die. Recall volunteers. Might as well save how much manpower is in a division? Uh, 17,000 troops. No point in losing 17,000 in that. But uh oh. Well, my divisions here have lost. So recall. It's nice that I can do a recall even though they should be getting killed. Um, funny. Uh, what else? Yes. I guess let's get some naval dock, uh, dockyards going, because the naval dockyards are at least will be useful in the long run. And I'm deeply sorry for the background noise. People keep coming in and out here. Bye. You, I guess, gather resources. We should be selling some, right? We are exporting stuff, so that's good. Okay, our troops have re returned from fighting overseas. Osmania! 
Here we can start to see the full might of one of my divisions. Got massive amounts of attack. They just take a ton of manpower and equipment to support. This is kind of crushed. Wow. That is unfortunate that these guys won. I suppose I could send more troops back, couldn't I? Chinese have formed an alliance. Okay. Can they stop Japan? Question. While still fighting among each other. I guess these guys didn't form the alliance. Alright. My divisions arrived though, so that's good news. Keeping this line of troops off the front battle lines in case I need to deploy them suddenly. The CSA lost, yes. It appears that. Arthur is going to win. The Ottomans were hanging on there for a little while, but yeah, it's over now. There's too many revolts. Somehow Syria has raised tons of troops. Oh yeah, plus 30 attack and defense. That certainly would help, wouldn't it? Although, Iran here may give up soon. See which is that one. That's going to be. Iran is 70% to capitulation. Yeah, they're not going to. 70% still. Enjoy. Let's fully get our economy up to the highest possible levels of production. This is probably what we want. Supply grace, 48 hours. That's always useful. Divisions in Spain are still fighting on, but they're not making enough of a difference. Beijing just collapsed. Lost, rather. Detroit foul, yeah, that's gonna be the end of the CSA. Unless something weird happens, they're out. China needs supplies. We are just pouring supplies into China, aren't we? Attention. Suppose any uh, any nation would do good with uh, basically free backup supplies from. Uh, Industrial powerhouse. They have three military factories, which means I'm probably giving them more supplies than they have. Everybody's supporting these guys. Wow. I thought I was unleashing to these guys. Oops. Uh, let's fix that. We should be. We can. I don't know if they're going to make it. They might get sunk by the Japanese. These guys have managed to fight a war with all of China. That seems dumb.
I may in fact need to build a fort line down here if Italy loses. It seems very likely they're going to win. Sicily seems to be doing very well. Oh, we've, uh, what about all of this? Okay, let's get full cannons. We want more fighters, tanks, more bombers, naval bombers, eh. More cats. Biggest advantage we have over Germany is we should be constructing stuff faster than them. I don't know if that's going to make a big enough difference, though. We have plus 50 construction speed right now. Yep, they're gone. The CSA fell. The Union State will fall out. Oh, peace between them. Peace between the Pacifics and Union State. I don't think that's going to stop the United States under MacArthur from winning. My guess is MacArthur will win, although Mexico has gotten involved here. What the heck? Is this their revenge of Montezuma? The AI trying to pull off that achievement? Like, 2%. Question is can Mexico do anything? It seems very dumb for Mexico to get involved, but who knows. These guys are not doing so well down south. These guys are... Well, this will help if they can do some defense. Oh no, that's not going to help. We'll keep China supplied as long as we can. Canada has intervened in the American Civil War. Okay. MacArthur's almost definitely going to win now. It's almost inevitable at this point. Continue the attack. My generals are pretty bad in Italy. Um, let's not attack and just play defense, I guess. Continue d'avancer. We do know that we have pretty good defense, fifty percent defense. As long as we are in defense, I don't think they're going to push us out of place. This army's dead. Really, they should try and get them all back up here before they lose their port. Second People's Line, Rukash near Paris. Right now, the forts are going to be worth more. Um, once we get to war, I may do that. You know, I'm kind of disappointed. I did that hydroelectricity fort uh, focus, and all I got was like okay. three civilian factories. It's disappointing. Can I force the Chinese to produce guns? No, I cannot do that. So the Chinese. Just they have to build their factories on their own. I can demand Alsace Lorraine or start the war. Um, I don't really think I'm ready to fight Germany. I really don't. On the other hand, what more do I get, right? They basically maxed out everything I can do. Okay, let's do a backup save. Just in case, for some reason, I get annihilated here. We will demand this. If Germany wants a war, I think we can hold them off. Yeah, we've got more troops on the field. They've got more divisions. So let's move up. 
This side of the war hasn't been settled yet, so we can safely move these guys in. Hopefully this should be enough to hold a heavily fortified line. These guys will put under this guy and put them down here. Actually, you know what? Let's just put them in here. Let's just put all our troops in one spot, basically. Because that's always ended war well historically, right? Um, we'll save the political power to reform our government. I can't do market socialism. I don't have market socialism. I've done basically everything. The Damocles project, I don't want to use nukes right now. I can't get nukes for another couple of years anyway. I think we're in as good a position as we'll ever be. So let's reorganize the Air Force. I don't know why it picked 96 for some. Feels weird. Hopefully we'll have enough fighters and bombers. Oh, and cast. I need to play some cast. And may have to buy some rubber. Yeah. Uh, let's get some anti-air. That's about the best we're going to do. Hopefully, Germany gives it up. I have my doubts, though. Considering they've almost fixed their government. However, if they do, actually... Um, Attention. Pull this guy out, actually, now that I'm realizing. Once that occurs, we're going to be able to send our army into Italy. So we're going to want our troops ready for that. The United States is going to win. Mexico is probably going to lose. Chile is somehow still fighting. A little impressed by Chile's resilience. But they would have lost ages ago. Okay. Oh, this is going to be an issue, though. <laughs> Anyone notice the problem here? None of our troops are deployed to this area for some strange, bizarre reason. So, um, we're gonna have to do a fallback one, which I hate you. Helps if my entire fort line is guarded. That would have been bad. Helps when you have forts if you actually have troops standing in the forts. Okay, I don't think China's going to hold out against Japan here. Not from what I'm seeing. Um, we don't have enough for medium tanks. We can do higher artillery. I'm going to cancel my... Oh, I already did cancel. Uh, let's recall these volunteers because they're going to be automatically recalled anyway. Mess up France some more. The 
the Ottomans are still fighting on, if you can believe that. Wow. That's crazy. Was all Bye. The Iberian Theater, yeah, is kind of frozen. Although, with the removal of my troops, these guys are going to be in a lot more trouble than they were before. I was doing quite a bit to hold that corner. Écoutez. Oops. Let's send one to there. Écoutez. You. Was all Hopefully once the war begins everyone gets called in and that way in that case I can then go to a normal defense line. <sighs> Armed incidents, public denouncement. Uh gonna denounce them. I don't think that'll do anything, but um what else do we want? I should probably send it on Tashe. That should help them a bit. Organization planning. More importantly, I get to know what's going on down there. I don't think I've got any better chance. Hey, we've demanded their lands. What will Germany do? Germany will not give it up. Okay. Not good. Um. The tank did it. I want to see if Germany will attack me. Oh, time to attack. Let's do save. War declared on Germany. World War II has arrived. I don't know why I'm calling in the commune of Hawaii, but I am. I am then merge these together. Put off some of these all destroyers. Destroyers are patrol, right? And the other fleet. Strike for. World War II has started. We're going to intervene in Italy. Gallivore. And we are going to build forts here. In the event of Italy falling, we want fallback point. That's what we'll be doing. Okay. These guys have not called during the war yet. Sweden has joined on the other side. Uh oh. That's not good. So, it is a war of 2 million versus somewhere between 2 and 3 million. This is going to be a mess. So what's going on in India? Um, the Baharata commune lost horribly. They picked a fight with the Dominions, the whole Commonwealth, the Entente, and it picked a fight with these guys. Yeah, it was it was over. 
really wish you'd call me to help here. Oh, wait, Jordan Morris. There we go. Hopefully we can win this. We need some oil. Big mess. <laughs> the world is a big mess. Okay, everybody on this Don't side show. has joined, so we can officially just swap that. We are not winning in Italy, though. That is concerning. Not that offensive, then. Continue to avance. We can't win that advance there, Attention. we're in real trouble. What oh, are these? We've got a lot of population, but they have no... Well, they have 10% combat bonus. These guys should have a lot, too. Huh. I don't know why that's not going well. We're basically gonna have no fights here for some time. And now we just kinda sit and wait. Okay. Plan for an invasion to here. Even though we, the odds of us actually launching it are slim. It says we are superior, but you know for a fact that would change as soon as I go on offense. Right now I'm strong because I have forts. Once I leave the forts, I'm vulnerable. Try and get 80% attack bonus here if we can. We can beat these guys right here. That would give us a lot because they're not in a faction. How many troops do we have? Oh, they still have a lot of manpower, don't they? They are on extensive conscription, though. They have lost troops. Oh, Argentina won. Chile was puppeted, yeah, that was expected. Max of those gonna get crushed too. Boy, the the uh, syndicates started out strong, but they all kind of committed suicide attacking the superior enemies. Oh, well, we had our first skirmish with Germany. How many troops did they lose? Six hundred men, and we didn't lose any. That's that makes sense. Great Britain's fleet, or the Union of Britain's fleet should stomp Germany's and Sweden's. A little concerned about up here, though. Oh, we just got some troops back. See if any of those are better generals than what we had. Nope. 
Although we have someone that looks pretty similar to Stalin here. These attacks are almost useless. <laughs> Look at that. 1,500 defense. I think we're good. Plane wise, we control that. Should probably actually just do this. Oh, wait, I don't have enough. Um, nope. If I wanted, I want airplane. I need some fighters. Should we deploy to that area? Oh, they've rushed more troops, and of course they have. Of course they have. As soon as you send planes to one area, the AI reacts and sends dozens of planes to counteract you. Bobby. I should be able to start pushing here. Plus 70 something for some attack. Surely that's enough. Oh, it is Stalin, but he's in exile and it's changed his name. Okay, okay, I gotta look closer at that. Oh, yeah, it is. Name known by many, na many names. Once Lenin was assassinated, Trotsky took charge and he fled. Interesting. Okay. So it is Stalin, and he's an incompetent general in this universe, apparently. Interesting. So. Can't. These guys have some really good defense. To be fair, my general is kind of incompetent, but still. Ecoute. Switzerland's going to do anything. You'll notice this superiority has disappeared to massively be in my disadvantage. The Union of Britain is helping in Sweden, though. Middle Africa is involved. Good. Bye. Everybody is turning against us. Bye. But I had to attack, or it was just going to get worse. Oh, bother. Um, let's start pursuing nuclear weapons, because why not? Buy all our oil from Iran, basically. Oh, Middle Africa's collapsing. This is weird. They're on their same side. Weird. Very strange. Oh. We'll just sit and watch, see what happens. The real war is being fought, of all places, in Sweden. <laughs> you cannot change generals. Not gonna make Stalin a general, he is that incompetent. A level one. Great if he was competent, but he isn't. Good, that's good, that's good. Can't do that. Basically, we're, we're just in a stalemate now until something changes. Oh, I think the Ottomans just lost. Oh, Russia just attacked the Germans. Hey, 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 here's our opportunity. Yeah, the Ottomans lost. So we're going to see probably Turkey emerge. Russia being involved, though. Russia's massively outnumbered. I have no idea what they're trying to pull off. Let's see if we can push at all. 
we can just take even a couple provinces back. That'll help a lot. Austria has intervened on Germany's side, of course. Well, we're probably doomed. I didn't tell you I was probably doomed. And I was right. Yeah, it's like 5 million versus 4 million. Not gonna go well. Russia's gonna get annihilated. I don't know why they launched the attack. This is death. It's pure death. Dumb move. By all, every, every measure, dumb move. Every measure that matters, that was dumb. Building fighters as fast as we can, but we're still having issues. Interesting. Well, we've managed to push the Italian Republic back a bit. They allow military access. They volunteer. Oh, Canada has attacked. Big wars are... everybody's involved. Okay, we have to build a beach guard. So, let's, let's troops out. We need to start guarding our coastline. We're gonna get invaded. This guy's got very little chance of holding the coastline, but maybe he can deter an invasion. Hard mode equals fun mode. Not really. Like, I've never agreed with that statement. I don't like hard mode, usually. Unless the base game is super easy, hard modes are not overwhelmingly fun. Uh, let's buy some... Great. Need to keep our tanks supplied. We don't want to cross the Germans' World War II problem. Oh, we've overrun the Austrian army here, initially. Attention. Now the Austrians have arrived in force, and we're not getting anywhere. Allez, allez, allez. No, no, no game. Attention. No idea why the game just decided, let's just highlight all my troops. Allez. Okay, stop. Stop the attack. Allez. It's fun. Transylvania is capitulated. That really doesn't help much. Obviously, our production has slowed significantly now that we're using our factories to buy resources. So many people are doing Good thing is, Sweden seems to be losing. Um, about it. <laughs> Sweden is losing, but that's it. Old France and Canada have not agreed to cooperate with Germany, though, so that's good news. Serbia is also attacked in Germany. Or big war there. This, this whole world is just exploding to outright war. Germans have decrypted our cipher. The Japanese are easily going to take over China. The U.S. is going to win. Mexico's doomed. We can't hold out. I thought this was going to happen. I couldn't get it to work on you. I couldn't get it to work. 
Well, we'll go <clears throat> for another 10 minutes, and then that'll probably be it anyway, because there's no way we win this. No way we win this. Unfortunately, the problem with Hearts of Iron is unless you start winning the war from the beginning, you almost never win the war later on. It's a real problem. Unless you're really lucky, there's almost no way to win Bobby. once you start. Unless you win immediately. That's why the Germans are so strong. Okay, let's attack. We can get Milan back. We've done the demo of these projects. Funny part is we can do some offense, but our allies are less than you. Boy, are we blowing through oil here. Right. We're down to 17 civilian factories. Obviously, once I can reform our uh, mobilization, we'll go up a bit, but only so much that will do. Please take them on. Should be losing this. They've got almost no organization. Oh, that's us. Continue the attack. Oh. <laughs> Helps if I'm rooting for the right side, doesn't it? Uh, it's not. It's not a good mod on you. I checked it out. It doesn't work very well, and it's so far from being. <laughs> Almost useless. Um, are currently getting invaded in oh southern France. Okay, so let's shift. Don't really need defense up here right now. Just need them down there. Well, the Union of Britain has pushed a little bit. I don't know how much that's going to do for them. Oh, yeah. The Union of Britain has lost a lot of troops. Yeah, interesting lore, but you need more than a lore to make a game. Okay, uh, I guess we're going to try and attack here. See what we can do. It says we have a superior military on all fronts, so... Let's forward deploy our planes up into here, so that'll help. Some more oil. We're really running out of factories. <laughs> Good. Okay, we have cut off this these guys. Wow. Uh, if we can crush these guys, we could have a chance here because the Netherlands are not involved. That was unexpected. Go Union of Great Britain, basically. Yeah, they're not going to get any troops there. And we're pushing them out of Italy, too, somehow. So this is all due to the Russians drawing off the Germans, I think. It means we've got to take advantage of it before they come back. So, uh, recover. 
my troops rebuild their offense. Serbia capitulated. Oh, also, yeah, the Germans got drawn off to fighting in Romania. Georgia capitulated. Run out of oil again. Boy, we're just running out of oil. Let's shift this to offense. Aggressively execute attacks, basically. We've got to take what land we can now. That's the end of Flanders. Now if we can take out Wallonia. That's going to be oil, right? Yeah, oil for me. Need it. Écoutez. The funny part here is we still haven't deployed our full military. It's kind of Deploying localized forces. Come on, please wipe these guys out. There we go. We have liberated Alsace Lorraine. Now we're actually just pushing into Germany. Here we go. That's another group done. That's Wallona done. It's becoming slightly more manageable of a war now, somehow. Gotta be careful we don't overextend though. Which occupied territory should all have local police for the under cavalry. Good. Uh, let's deploy our spies. So, rooting out resistance. Rooting out resistance. All good stuff. We can root out the resistance the better. Sure. Let's turn this down speed wise. Let's Somehow we're winning in Italy, which is amazing. I did not think we'd be winning in Italy, but we are. I'm worried about that group, though. And let's reform our economy once more, get some more factories going. Really don't need these anymore. Read our planes to southern Germany. They are heavily outnumbered. Yeah, this is a this is a comeback. This is a certainly a bit of a comeback. We are getting stalled out on the German border though, so we're gonna have to stop this offensive, I think. Unless we can punch through here, we gotta stop. They've got too many forts, they're in too good of a position. The problem is if we stop now, we're never going to take this river. Come on, keep going. Attention. Okay. We're attacking from multiple directions, but we have an aerial penalty. In the area. Aerial superiority is a problem. We can just get across the river here. We've got a Écoutez. great shot. Attention. Come on, we just need a little bit more offense in this one location. 
moved in reinforcements. Not good. Okay, that's better. This guy is not an old guard, but he's not offensive either. These are still attempting to evade Southern France, which is hilarious. Lisbon fell. Oh, Lisbon's on the other side, and the Union of Britain invaded them. What the heck? Why are they involved? At this rate, Portugal's gonna die in like six months. Not what I saw happening when I woke up this morning, that's for sure. Come on. Oh, they got rein... The AI is amazing at getting reinforcements onto the battlefield. They know exactly when to send reinforcements. We've gotten across the river, though, so that's good. going on there? Sweden's gonna fall. Eh, somehow we're actually pulling this off for the moment. We've gotta get this crossing now. There we go, we got the crossing. Progress. I don't know. Attack that guy. Attack them while they're on trying to recover from your last offensive. There we go. We've broken the German river defenses for the moment. Attention. Come on, you just need a little more. Nice if some of my generals got better. We did supply lines. 94, so we're actually maintaining a pretty good supply route. For those of you who are curious, Rosie has just shown up. Cat is rubbing against my microphone. Yes, I crossed the Rhine. Thank you, Bob. I'm not going to try the rest of the name. Look at all, look at all the forts in Belgium and uh, Wallonia. There's just, this is ridiculous. I think every province here has a fort. Wow, that's crazy. Okay, um, we lost all of our fun, uh, planning bonus that we have, basically. Okay, let's see if we can get these defenses here before I give up. And take a break from this okay. offense. If we can get all their outer forts, that would be amazing. Because they won't have time to build new ones, so we can rest up. We, we're not going to get these anymore. Any more planes, I think. Yes, I can deploy a lot more planes, which makes me wonder why they were not being supplied to our fighters. Throwing all our stuff in here. We're losing lots of planes. Oh, we okay. We got that river defense. Slowly punching through the rest of it. Attack from this direction. As well. Basically, now that we've got a crossing, we've got to start attacking from our crossing. Yeah, it's starting to get to the point I should stop that off then. Really like to take Frankfurt though. I think we 
we're gonna get it. My tanks are working now. No one can breach my tanks. It's hilarious. I didn't think I had German, uh, France had particularly great tanks. Okay. Um, other than this advance here, I think it's time to pause the northern. gotten to the point where we're mainly just losing troops now. We're not actually pushing. Yeah, we've lost significant... Well, we've gone about even with Germany. Here we do. Well, our right. Chinese communist allies just capitulated. Romania is going to lose here. Yeah, it's going to get hard in a moment. Now the Germans and Austrians will be able to pull all their troops back. Okay, um, stop this offense. Halt. Stop this offense. Halt. I think we're good for right now. I could shift all the way to Warwick on our total mobilization. Way below my position cap, though. I'm gonna try it. Total mobilization. How badly will that hurt my... 4%. It's gonna hurt it. We may have to up our... Stuff as well. We don't want to attack the Netherlands yet. I want to get involved there too. Guess I could work on the Navy. Let's work on the Air Force. I have totally neglected my Air Force. What is the level of my forts? My forts are like level seven. Uh, everyone else is like one or two. Um, these are all twos. I had a line of level six and seven forts on the border. Oh, let's see, I think this would show it better. <laughs> I kind of created my own version of the Maginot line. It worked. I wasn't attacked really at all. Okay, my division is still technically preparing. None of my generals leveled up. Especially my field marshal didn't. Do this is going to be tough to break. So. Russia surprisingly is holding. Um, for the moment, I thought they would get crushed easier. We can hold out almost definitely defensively. I'm gonna let this build up a little bit more before we attack Germany. Wanna get as much of this as possible. Much attention. percent a day. We're only at 92 stop. What the hell are we lacking? Good question. What am I... 21 days, 130, 100. So we're lacking in not our necessarily offensive capability. Everything else. Um, oh, I'm trying to buy much 
again. Oh, I'm out of, out of, fun voice. Should help a little bit. Convoys make are made very quickly. Okay, I think it's probably time to launch this attack. So, ooh, hopefully we can push a little bit. Uh, it doesn't look like it. Basically, every battle we just launched, we're losing. That's not. Oh, and we got outflanked in the south. That is also not good. Um, let's do that, please. Oh, boy. We got totally outflanked down here. ball. Yeah, we're not gonna we're not able to push. Right. That is definitely a problem. We are bombing southern Germany to bits, but it's not getting us anything. Is Kaiserreich fun to play? Um it's it is as far as I can find. Um, probably the best Hearts of Iron mod. Um, it feels like an actual game. Like, it feels like Hearts of Iron. It's got enough depth to make it exciting. Which is pretty impressive for a mod. A lot of mods tend to be pretty bad. AI's army that was formerly smashing Romania has returned, which is why we're getting pushed back from Italy. Doesn't help we got outflanked as well. They've lost more troops than we have, though, so. I consider that to be something of a victory. The problem is they've got a lot of divisions. With End of the Second American War. MacArthur has won. Now he has to this, this, like crush rebels for the rest of his life. Come on, Portugal, you're almost out. Come on, Sweden, you're almost gone too. If those change. If the fronts change, Sweden's gone and Portugal's gone. Also, apparently, Great Britain is invading the Indies. Um, what's going on here? Oh, the Dutch are fighting rebels. Mexico wants to send stuff. Oh, Mexico somehow got out of it as the puppet of the U.S. Really like the U.S. to help me, but I don't think they will. Who knows? Maybe they declare war on Canada out of the blow. That would be <laughs> that would be really helpful. Not gonna happen. Uh oh. My troops down here picked out. Good. We get moved. Tripoli has helped us. Very strange. We can't stop them though at the moment. They're just pushing us back. And I can't, obviously, progress up north. Still at 
need two. Attention. Anybody is better at... Oh, this guy here is uh, the Russian guy. Normally it's purged by Stalin. He's shown up. He's pretty good, actually. I might put him in charge. I guess it's worth a shot, see if I can push here anywhere. Oh cool, we just also got a top turn racing. Nothing. Nothing. The Germans are just so entrenched. Look at that. Ow. That's what I was afraid of. They would manage to get entrenched even further. Oh well. How much I can do there, other than build better planes. Looks like we've been kind of sidelined out of here. No, it's not worth trying to do a naval invasion to northern Germany. I haven't researched any naval invasion tech, so I still really can send like four divisions. Um, I'm going to let the Union of Britain do it, because look at all the troops they're navally invading every side with. If I leave them alone, they should do the job. I should turn on Allied Battle Plan. See what they're up to. Kingdom of France has landed in. They're trying to invade Canada, which seems dumb. If they had focused their efforts on Portugal and won, then that would have wiped out a whole massive amount of the AI's troops. Oh, this guy's an leader. Perfect. Entrenchment bonus time. Two military factories. I have more military factories than Germany, but that's not enough. Russia's slowly dying. Norway capitulated. Oh my gosh. Oh wow, that's. Oh, that, that's, that's really too bad. I thought we were going to win there. Rival of Can of, uh, Kingdom of France turned things around. Okay, well, I've got to probably stop for today. 
England, yeah, they've got too many troops. They're really bad. Um, I really should stop for today. I can go for another 10 minutes. I'll go for another 10 minutes, and then I gotta stop. I've already gone over what I usually do. How many troops do they have? We got over 1.4 million, 127 divisions. Oh, what are they doing? Naval invaded invasion in Northern Britain. That's not good. We might have another ally here. Join the International. Fine. You need a friend. Please win the fights. We could get our army fully supplied. We can probably win this because we've got superior divisions. Just got to keep them supplied and they're not being supplied. Argentina. Fascist Argentina. Wow, they formed a Buenos Aires Lima Axis faction of. A lot of people with mustaches. <laughs> and are conquering. Them. The US is. Put Gardner in charge. Oh, he was the leader of. Uh... He was one of the options for president. Curious as what he will do now that he's in office. Where is back in business? Curious as if he's going to attack me. These guys are, these guys are on their way to invade Canada. Looks like. Yeah, they're slowly on their way to invade Canada. Wow, that would change things if they succeed. Fall of Moscow, not good. I should consider building forts on my front lines even more, just to hold. Um. We get driven back, we're gonna have to try and hold on the Alps. What else can I do? Bye. Not my mountaineers, that's something. At least we're consistently able to train troops, which is good. for an invasion of the north. And I'm stuck waiting because there's almost nothing I can do to stop them. Yeah, they're just bleeding. It's dry. Not good. Not good at all. I can't. I don't have enough planes to stop them.
lacking planes. Okay, they, they actually managed to land in Canada, everyone. Somehow, the Union of Britain invaded Canada. I'm kind of impressed. Écoutez. These guys have totally basically capitulated to China. Wow. Uh, that's disappointing. Yes, we will invite Tripoli to our alliance and then call them to arms to fight. Oh no, they won't join yet. Okay. They're probably going to be invading North Africa. This could be crazy. Will Tripoli swap the balance of power? We shall see. So. Okay, here we go. Will Tripoli make the difference? Probably not. Tripoli's almost doomed. Almost inevitably doomed here. They're gonna try and fight France. Yeah, I don't see this. We'll do some damage. Could I send troops? I probably could send troops. The question is, would it do any? Well, could my troops even get there? Another good question. I don't know what the naval control of this area looks like. Uh -huh. Enemy superiority galore. Iceland. Go Iceland. Fight on. Brave Iceland. Portugal managed to re-liberate itself. That's unfortunate. Union of Britain AI is pretty terrible. They've easily lost most troops on our side. Don't want to attack the Netherlands. <sighs> really don't. How many troops did the Netherlands have? They don't have a lot, but they have enough. Know how many troops they have. That's not Probably not worth opening up another front. Not with two minutes left in this. How many divisions does the Kingdom of France have? Um, do we know? Somewhere between 19 and 60. We've got a quarter of a million, so Tripoli is doomed. That's, that's obvious. I would offer to help them, but it wouldn't do anything. More using them as hopefully as a distraction to keep the AI busy for a while. Just losing planes like they're going out of style here. Good.
these guys have taken this, so what are you doing? Like they, they invaded Canada and now they've stopped. I don't really know where they're trying to invade now. Yeah, it's weird. I is weird. Écoutez. The problem is I kinda I just have to wait till the AI does something I can take advantage of. United States joined the Entente. Oh, I'm dead. Okay, well, it was a fun run. Uh, the addition of the U.S. to their side makes them unstoppable, basically. Yeah. 251. <laughs> yeah. Well, it was a fun stream. Obviously, we didn't win. Um, although, we are going to bleed the Germans dry here. This is hilarious to watch. Numbers are just ticking up. They're not going to breach our defenses here very easily. We've got 84% entrenchment bonuses. Good luck. Especially if I add even more in later on. Okay, well, anyway, I gotta stop. I probably won't kind of come back to this. Just at this point, our victory is so remote as to be impossible. So, it was a fun stream. Um, if you guys haven't done that, go vote on the poll on the community tab on my channel. Or what you'd like to see for other series. So far, no one's really voted for anything except for EU4, Civ 6, and Hearts of Iron, basically. So, 